Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin with a big breakthrough in the fight against coronavirus, but one that comes with a dire warning about how quickly the virus is evolving. Tonight, Johnson & Johnson says the vaccine it's developing is about 66% effective at blocking COVID and as much as 85% effective at stopping people from getting seriously ill or dying. The company plans to apply for emergency approval as early as next week. And that is welcome news because the new vaccine only requires one shot, making it much easy, easier to distribute. But production delays mean it will still take months before it's widely available here. And scientists are also worried because the new vaccine is less effective at fighting that highly contagious South African variant of the virus that was just found here in the U.S. Well, tonight, the president's top medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says that should be a wake-up call to all Americans, warning that the virus will continue to mutate, finding new ways to become more contagious and dangerous. Fauci says the only way to stop that from happening is to get more people vaccinated and quickly. But as we come on the air, states say they still don't have enough doses to speed up the rollout. And if those new variants start spreading faster than people can get vaccinated, tonight one model projects another 200,000 Americans will die over the next three months. So we have a lot of news to get to on this Friday night. Our team is standing by to cover it all. CBS's Mola Lenghi is going to lead off our coverage from New York City. Good evening, Mola. Well, good evening, Nora. Today's announcement would give the U.S. a third vaccine in its ongoing fight against COVID-19. But that promising news does come with some concerns. Tonight, Johnson & Johnson's single-shot COVID vaccine is injecting more hope in the race to vaccinate America. I think there's no question that this vaccine is going to be a game changer. Data from the U.S. trial of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine shows 72% efficacy against moderate and severe infection and 85% efficacy in preventing serious symptoms in global trials. It either will stop you from having COVID or if you have COVID, it has a much milder course. and It'll stop you from needing to worry about ever getting so sick that you have to go to the hospital or die. But there are concerns tonight over Johnson & Johnson's less than 60% efficacy in South Africa. That variant is now in the U.S. This is a wake-up call that we will continue to see the evolution of mutants. So we, that means that we will have to be nimble to be able to just adjust readily to make versions of the vaccine. The struggle to get the vaccine into the arms of Americans continues nationwide tonight. In West Virginia, pharmacist Krista Capehart says some government-issued syringes are not able to pull all available doses from Moderna's vials. The syringes that we're receiving are going to impact um, the number of doses you're able to get out of those supplies, no matter the skill and the education and, and the ability of your health care providers. According to federal officials, at least seven states have given the first dose of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines to more than 10% of their adult populations. Meanwhile, an update tonight on the New York Attorney General's report that New York State undercounted nursing home deaths during the pandemic. The White House saying the Justice Department will decide if Governor Andrew Cuomo should be investigated for his administration's role. Look, whether a person died in a hospital or died in a nursing home, it's the people died. Everyone did the best they could. Well, tonight, Johnson & Johnson tells CBS News it'll deliver just 2 million doses of vaccine once they get that emergency use authorization. But the company still plans to supply 100 million doses to the U.S. by the end of June. And also tonight, Dr. Anthony Fauci says that children may be able to start getting vaccinated by the end of spring, early summer, Nora. And that's really interesting. Mola Lenghi, thank you.